yeah see this one is right this is where I'm at it's like uh, it's like two went to focus that's what I meant so yeah that's what the starting way is today is Monday it is 254 I mean today is Sunday this is the day that I was supposed to start my diet so so far I've only eaten um what's wrong with this camera not focusing Yeah, today is Sunday, June 9th. I've only eaten um this. Okay, you guys, I've lost three pounds. Day three. 215.8. That's two more pounds gone. Okay, you guys, we down to 214. Probably was hoping that it could have been. This one right here is just about right. I don't know what's going on with the other one. Um, it's like right at 212. Let's use a dirtiness on it. 212 to 13. Um, it keep moving. Actually, it's, it's at 212, you guys. They going off of my camera and then that water that I had just drunk. But yeah, it's, it's, it's right at 212. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Brad. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm sorry that I look hit. Uh, I am tired. Yeah, we just got out of the bed. I ain't even brush my teeth, wash my face, anything. But I will, I'm not going to make this video long. This is just a video to touch base back um, on, you know, my results throughout the week. Um, I should be at like 212, 2, or at the end of 211. This is what happened. Let me tell y'all, let me tell you guys, reason why you get discouraged when you step on that scale throughout the day. Because anything you do, you can be in it just eight. It's going to put pounds on it. Then you turn around, you get off of the scale, and then you work out, and then you drink water. You keep drinking water. You work out and drink water. It's going to put weight on it. Do not let that discourage you. You only need to step on the scale one time a day. And that stuff that you eat, um, you know what you're supposed to eat when you're doing a diet. You're supposed to limit everything you eat. And when you work out and, and drink a lot of water, it's going to knock that off. The next day so don't let that discourage you and then again um i have not been sticking to the, the meal plan that we have i have not been eating a lot of vegetables and i have not been killing my fruits like i'm supposed to hopefully i do that throughout this week because they know telling what kind of weight that i'm probably gonna put on over this weekend so if today and tomorrow reason being we're supposed to be going to a concert today and um uh, you know, I know how me and Brandon get. We want, we want something to eat and quick, and then when we want to avoid me getting headaches, we just kind of get whatever's there. So uh, I'm just gonna try not to eat the whole thing. <laughs> you know, I but this is what I've been doing. I've been cutting back and um, eating less stuff. So I found myself throughout the day eating, um, skipping breakfast, um, eating like a watermelon, then trying to eat a little bit more watermelon. And drinking a lot of water throughout the day so i'm not gonna say you guys should go by what i've been doing because actually two days out of day i got a headache and i think it was because i was starting off you know and my body hadn't got had got adjusted to me overeating and, and eating crazy stuff eating so much so from them two days i guess my body was detoxing and trying to get used to me limiting what's going on and that's probably why i was just burning so many pounds as well cut back if you like me and you eat so much you know you need to I mean so much of the bad foods you need to cut back and another thing um oh i'm sorry my lips look crusty and everything too and another thing um let me see drink a lot of water it's, it's we, we talked about these it's very important it, it's going to help them them pounds and all that drop right off you the next morning and if you're a person like me that doesn't really like to do too much exercising but i do do it i have been exercising this is what you do i would say walk around the house let me give you guys some simple exercises walk around the house one walk around it for i would say 
for starters, if you're like a heavy set person that just can't stand up long and walk too long, you try for 15 to 30 minutes. And I want you to increase it each day or each week. And you should see a difference. But if you're a person that's like me and you know, or a person that's more athletic or something, you need to do, you can do an hour or up to an hour, four to five minutes, whatever. Just, you got to put pressure on yourself when you're trying to lose weight. You got to do more and then you got to put it on there yourself when you're going to be doing what we be doing and that's cutting back. So, you know, cutting back, you still eating whatever you want to eat, but you are limiting a lot of it because, you know, like one little burger from McDonald's, let me tell y'all this story. And I ate one little burger from McDonald's before we went and got that crawfish. And I could have sworn this lip burger put so much weight on me. And I'm not even the type to put so much on my burger. I only get mayo and cheese. Cheese is supposed to be good for you. One slice shouldn't get it. And the mayo ain't shouldn't be so bad, you know? But I guess it wasn't meat in the bread. Whatever it was, that just was too much. I got up, I came home that day, I put on three pounds, and they say you don't even gain weight from eating seafood. I put on three pounds just from eating one little burger. And uh, the seafood, I guess it could have been the potatoes and the corn, could have been, I doubt it. And I was so mad, so I went crazy. I just started, uh, I drank like three, grass, three glasses of water on top of what I had been drinking throughout the day. And I got on that bike for an hour, just like I did last night. That's how I know the scale was tripping this morning, trying to say that um, one of them was saying 215, then I get back on that saying 220, then the other one was saying 213.8 and all that. Those are not my ways, y'all. This is what happened. I got up this morning and drunk some water. I've been getting up constantly, going to the bathroom, drinking water. That's where the weight coming from. Tomorrow, if I was to do right, you know, eat good, that stuff would be gone, you know. It's probably gonna be gone anyway. But anyway, I should be at 211 point something or 212. You know, I was at 212 yesterday, so I should be at 211 today. That's my weight. I don't even know why I was in the pit drinking that stuff, knowing I should have just, you know, got up, got on the scale and stuff. Um, try to do you some squats and some sit ups, some crunches. I'm not gonna say the full sit up because I don't even do full sit ups. I do crunches. Do you some crunches? And um, do whatever is convenient to you. If you can just have to lay there and bring your leg up to you and come up, that'll be good. But your body is is adjusted to you just not doing anything. So you got to put your body to a test. You got to test yourself and your body. It's the whole point of losing weight. So that's it for this video. Um, you guys should be getting it either today or tomorrow. I'm going to put it up probably today in a little bit. Um, before we go down the road and um yeah let me know what you guys think i stay on my word yes i am losing weight yes i am up on the 220 and if i keep doing right by next week or the week after i should be under 200 you know it shouldn't be no questions asked and yes i did this without a 21 day meal plan i did this with the lord and myself i dedicated myself to it uh, you know, and I've just been limiting myself. I've been, you know, well, strict on myself, I guess, like my cousin say, because I haven't been overeating. Most I ever ate was last night when I sit, sat up there and came home from my auntie house and ate that little pizza that they said I think it was like 400 and some calories. I got on that bike and for an hour, but what I should have did, because what I usually do is after I get off my bike is I do me some swats and I do me some crunches. That's why you got to put your body to the test. Them swats and them crunches and stuff, they're knocking off a lot of calories. You know, my bike do okay. Them swats and them crunches and stuff, they're not, they knocking off a lot of calories because my body not used to doing them. That's one thing. When your body ain't used to doing something, when you try to do it, you know, when you do it, so slice, you ain't got no problem. You just got to trust God and you got to do the work as well. He going to work with you, but you got to do it too. See, when you're looking at that food in that kitchen, you need to throw it out. When you're looking at them snacks, you need to throw it out. And you don't even have to throw it out. This is what you do. You need to, you have to use your head. When you're seeing them snacks, you ain't got to eat the whole thing. You ain't got to eat the whole thing. It's not going to hurt you. You ain't going to get no headache or nothing. And that's all you got to do. Your body, just drop a pound. Just drop it. Just drop it. 
So I'm gonna do a, a, a video or a picture of something showing my now, so you guys can see if we see a difference in my stomach. No, I haven't been doing the vapor rub thing, none of that. Um, I just have been working out and cutting back. So we'll see if we see a difference in my stomach. Um, I actually took a picture in like two day, two or three days, and it was a big difference. If you follow my Instagram, you will see a lot. I put a lot on my Instagram. But as I stated that, I don't know if I was going to be putting my journey on my Instagram. And I have it, you know. I've been documenting my journey on the camera uh, of how I've been burning pounds every day. Doing nothing but cutting back, which is eating less. And uh, working out. So, that's it for this video. I didn't want to be so long. I'm about to go start editing. and, and I'm about to go take this picture and start editing. So, this can be, be up today or tomorrow. Y'all have a good day and stay tuned. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the same thing for next week. But, I probably will touch base next Sunday. Uh, because, that's probably going to be my last. Next Sunday, no, that's two weeks. That's probably going to be my last week, y'all. No, I got two more weeks in this. Two more weeks in this. We got two more weeks in this. There's one more. There's two more weeks in June. We can do it. Stay tuned.